What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. How is everybody doing today? As you can see, we have the beautiful 2020 MT-09 in front of us. This video, we're gonna change out the levers for the amazing ASV levers. That's right. And supposedly, I've done a lot of reading. These are some of the best levers on the market, so I'm excited to get these on the bike. Um, unbreakable, unbreakable, I like the sound of that, and adjustable, eh, kind of nice, but I like unbreakable. So obviously these come in different colors, these ASV levers, I did get the short ones, as you can see here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get these on the 2020 MT-09. All right guys, so we are actually on the head cam. I know it has been a minute since we've done an install with one of these bad boys, but let's go ahead and get started. And this is the brake lever. So let's go ahead and do the brake lever. That should be a little simpler. First impressions, really nice looking levers, I must say. Ooh, got a little snap in there. Ooh, nice, nice. Okay, I see what's going on here. So very nice machined levers. I'm liking that. What do we have in here? We have some springs for Honda Kawasaki's. Don't need that. Uh, Aprilia, Yamaha, a narrow bushing, maybe you're gonna need that. And then we have the Honda Kawasaki wide bushing, not gonna need that. So let's go ahead and take off this stock brake lever. So you're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket here. Just like that, this lever's off. As you can see here, quite a bit shorter, and you're gonna see why we need that small bushing right there. So basically, this bushing goes inside here. Now, we are the right size, simple as that. So now what we have to do, this in there, make sure that bushing is flush. There we go. Make sure we're nice and lined up. We'll get that boy screwed down just like that, nice and tight. Then we have our little nut right here. The nut goes on back underneath. Get our 10 millimeter socket. Get her tightened right up. All right, now we have our ASV lever on there. And then this adjustment just moves this set pin out a little closer, a little further. We'll play with adjustments later, but that guy is on. That feels, feels pretty good. I like the two fingers. All right, that's looking sharp. What do you guys think about that? Do you like the look of that? Yeah, I know, the bike needs a bath, I get it. But what do you think about the levers? I think those levers look sharp. Let's move on to the clutch lever. What parts are we gonna need for this? I'm thinking a bushing. We've got our bushing again. Gonna go in there just nice and flush. Kind of annoying, but you know, it is what it is. Get those little bitty screws in there. Get them pretty tight so they don't back out. Could I put some Loctite on there? Sure, could've. Am I going to? Nah. get that clutch cable out so basically what we're doing here is just unscrewing the uh, clutch lever one of the easiest mods to do to your bikes guys and I think potentially one of the best looking you know I think it gives the bike a fresh look now there we go we got the nut. We'll push out the pin that holds the clutch lever. And this does have little um, notches on it so you can see how that fits back in there. So now, let's come over here. We have a little bit of wiggle room now, remember, because we tighten this up all the way so the clutch is super loose. Now all we have to do is that. Yeah, it's greasy, should have known that. Let's wiggle this around. So where we can get it in here. 
like that. And do a little flip de do Set this back. Then put this push pin back in there. Have that seat. Take this nut, put it back underneath here. And voila, tighten this up. Important to tighten down the uh, clutch lever, obviously. Now what we can do, and what are we doing here? We're just tightening this cable. All right, now all we have to do is hop on here. Boy, that's way out there. All right, that's about where I want it. So basically we're out here with the ASV levers. So these levers look absolutely terrific. Um, I love the adjustability of them. I will say the clutch lever, I'm still struggling a little bit with. I can't quite get the engagement point exactly where I want it. I just need to keep working on this. Obviously I like it pretty far out, but I can't dial it in for some reason exactly. So, but anyway, let's hop on the bike and let's talk about these levers. So as you can see, they feel really good. They're a little thick, um, which is good. They're pretty far out. So, you know, I, I wear um, medium to large gloves and the reach is pretty far, but it's still good. It's still uh, doable. And so I guess the question then becomes, are these levers worth $250 for the two? They're $125 a piece. If you can find them cheaper somewhere, then that's awesome. So it is what it is, you know? You gotta, uh, you gotta pay to play, I suppose. Um, but they feel really, really good. They were super simple to put on, as you saw in the video earlier. But yeah, they feel great. The adjustability is good. I love the look of them. You know, we're going for that black theme on this bike, which is awesome. Number one, definitely don't get Amazon levers. Those things are jank, and they will break on you at the first chance they get. Uh, and the last thing you need is a broken clutch lever or brake lever <laughs> when you're riding around. So stay away from the Amazon ones. Uh, there are some cheaper alternatives out there. CRG has some. Of course, you can get the uh, Righteous Stunt Metal RSC uh, clutch levers, or you can just stick with stock ones, you know, but definitely stay away from that Amazon crap. Would I recommend the ASV levers for you? I believe I would. Definitely give them a shot. They have a lot of different colors of these. I'll put some of the different colors right here, um, but they are very cool. Uh, a lot of different customizable options. They pretty much make them for every single bike out there. All right guys, hope you enjoyed this quick video of installing these beautiful ASV levers. If you like this video, do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and click that bell to get notified when more videos come out. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next video. Later.